We've got the squad together to get into what's new in pro clubs in FIFA 23. Over to you. Thank you, Derek, here with Tim and Imbuso from the development team, diving into everything that is pro clubs in FIFA 23. A ton to get into, including a new shared progression system, customization, drop in, new perks, new skill games. Here to break it down are the dev team themselves. So let's start with you, Imbuso. What are you most excited about in FIFA 23? So many things, but I think I've got to start with that first thing you mentioned, the shared seasonal progression. We have an opportunity to have both social modes in the same space in the main menu. So FUT for the longest time and, and Volta have had a, a season system that rotates through a, a six-week cycle. Uh, this will be the first time that Pro Clubs players will be able to take advantage of that. Pro Clubs players will now be earning seasonal progression by playing Pro Clubs matches. They'll be able to head over to Volta where they can claim their rewards, make purchases with the Volta coins that they've earned, and then take their rewards back to Pro Clubs where they can equip them and, and wear them on the pitch. Talking about pro clubs heading over to the 11v11 match, community talks so much about drop-ins. Is there anything new coming to the drop-ins experience this year? Yeah, we're looking to freshen up the drop-in experience this year. We want to bring in uh, more kits, uh, more stadiums. We want to be able to rotate through that visual experience. So now there'll be eight uh, pro clubs drop in specific kits. On top of that, uh, we do want to liven up the experience and create more moments of magic. So for this year, drop-ins will be Four minute halves, we want to reduce that down so it's a faster experience, make every moment matter. Uh, and we also want to move to a, a golden goal extra time uh, that won't proceed to penalties beyond that. We want to make it a quick experience. You get in, you score a magic goal and golden goal, and then you're back in the ecosystem, readying up to go again. Community often talks about tracking that progression. Perks playing a big role in that. Can you explain anything new coming to Perks and, and the whole progression system as a whole? Uh, so for 23, we, we have listened to a lot of that community feedback. There'll be a lot more levels, and not only that, the gaps between each level, the XP required to move from one to another will be shortened, so it'll be more frequent moments of excitement and more rewards. Uh, we're also looking to get perks into the hands of our players sooner. While you may only have one perk slot available to you at launch, we want to get you in and able to experiment and find out which one works for you best. Furthermore, into perks, uh, we do have four new perks, two of which are defensive-based. So there's a great new one called Chase Down, which is activated after a change of possession uh, if you're retreating back toward your own goal, uh, as well as an interceptor perk uh, that'll activate whenever you're defending and the ball is in your proximity. Uh, you'll be able to make blocks and, and, and traps on opposition passes and shots more easily. Uh, we also have a chance creation perk that's light passes. It's a really interesting one. It's the only time that the perk actually takes effect on your teammates. Uh, it'll actually influence the ability of your teammates to trap and control your passes. So if you're playing driven passes into the box, that first touch, when you need it to be perfect, to be able to get it out of your feet and shoot, that'll be the perk for you and you can dictate the play of your team. We also have a poacher perk. This will activate when players move inside the box and it will boost all of those areas of finishing volleys, heading, as well as your, your general finishing and shooting. Something I think every pro clubs player has experienced at one point or another. You load up the game, load up pro clubs, you get ready, and none of your teammates are online. It's a, a common occurrence that you're into the lobby and you're waiting for that one last two or three people. And this time, FIFA 23 will, will give you something to do with your time. So uh, we do want to encourage players to, to go and play skill games with their virtual pro inside the pro club system, compete against your teammates for top spot on a pro club specific leaderboard. So you'll get bragging rights. And on top of that, we want to give you a player growth XP reward that will reset on a weekly cadence. We'll also be adding player growth XP as a reward to Volta matches. So you will be earning a contribution to your pro clubs avatars player progression XP as well. So what would you say the main benefit is here as these two come together for both pro clubs and Volta players? The shared seasonal uh, progression. So now we have it where in pro clubs and in Volta, you can play both modes and earn seasonal points. And then that shared progression can carry through into both of those unlocking gear that you can equip onto your pro. All right, a lot to take in here. So I guess it's really just time to start planning. And Buso, Tim, thank you for joining us, running through everything. And I guess it's time to get the group chats going, get the team back together. Get everyone back together. Join the club. Go be that hero. Yeah, I can't wait. Thank you. Ready up, Derek. Back to you. Well, Stuart, I think we need to go and plan our next team celebration. Well, Derek, I've already got one in mind. That's got me inspired, that's for sure. 